Hey there! Take a seat. I'm Irony, and I've got a story for you. That was too exhausting. Life's a little weird for me, but isn't it for everyone? In the area I grew up in, there was a public battle that raged once a year. The Junior-Senior War. I realized when I moved to a city that this isn't a normal thing for everyone else. Here's the TLDR. It's when you give juniors and seniors in high school a reason to trash each other's houses. It is known that during this time sales of plastic forks, eggs, glitter, toilet paper, that all goes up. And I've even seen full-fledged old toilets lodged into yards to make a statement. Even though most, at least us, we targeted our own classmates that we didn't like or sometimes turning against our own friends. Most likely, turning against our own friends. During my time, ooh, that makes me sound old, I was either a complete ninja or was the calm one being the getaway driver, driving Sharpie's giant truck into the shadows. Yeah, so discreet. We had headsets, all black attire, and strategic plans. That didn't stop some of our members to panic and run towards the truck I was driving at them. But we never got caught, no one was hit, but it was an adrenaline rush. I always felt bad for the parents. They didn't ask for this. Luckily, no one did my house because my dad was a cop and I tried not to peeve off people in general. No worries. My parents knew what we were doing. It's a weird culture that way, and we'll get back to that. So, for the story where I almost got arrested. Let's set the scene. I've graduated and moved to a city to go to a uni eight hours off. I was on a break and I took my boyfriend at the time with me to meet up with my high school friends again. One member out of my friend group, Snail, was younger than us and had a lot of people targeting him. Small private schools are harsh. Sharpie was ready to help Snail not be alone and wanted to help him march off to the Junior Senior War quest. However, I was hesitant, because now, I was an adult, in the legal sense at least, a college kid, taking part in an illegally ambiguous war zone. I said I would be the getaway driver. Snail brought one of his friends, R. Lux, the principal kid, but he didn't say anything that I know of. Sharpie drove to the house, and I got in the driver's seat. Sharpie, Snail, and the principal's kid hopped out. Me and my ex are left in the empty, sketchy parking lot while they cross into the bushes to go into this kid's yard. My ex and I were just talking and waiting for them to be done with whatever they were going to do to the house, and then we saw a cop drive on the road in front of the lot we were in. It wasn't until then that I realized we looked very, very suspicious. He circled back and put his police lights on. He got out of his car and asked me for my license and registration. And there were two issues for this. I stupidly forgot my wallet and this isn't my truck. I said, well this is gonna sound odd, but this isn't my truck and I haven't been driving it. Technically, this was true because I never drove. I'm just sitting here in a lot. He then went, you aren't driving? Then why are you in the driver's seat? Well, good sir, you have a point. I'm aware that now I probably seemed on drugs. We were in the middle of the night, in a parking lot, and I was claiming not to drive a car I was sitting in. And then another issue arose. My ex is a very anti-police type of guy. He starts questioning the cop while he's questioning me and they start arguing. During this random screaming fit, I wasn't ready to go to jail. So I start to play it smooth. I acted like I knew his name before. And when I read his tag and I talked about who my dad was, luckily, they knew each other and in a positive way. Thanks, dad. I then explained the situation and he just laughed. He did worse than I did. The cop told me that his class lit the school football field on fire during his junior senior war. So this seems minuscule. While I'm processing that this cop is admitting to committing arson, my crew is hiding in the bushes, watching and expecting the worst. Sharpie is about to hop in and save the day. The cop says, without turning around, they know I can see them, right? At the end of the day, nothing happened. The cop didn't care as long as it wasn't permanent damage. And we got away with nothing but a scare and a pretty unique story to tell.
Well, that's this week's story. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you interact, I'll try to interact back. See you next time. Logging off.